Well, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, or good night. Uh, this is welcome to the way you're going to be writing your paper for me. So you've read a chapter on from the book Dean Brackley in assignment 2.1, and now you're going to write the very first section. And I think I use Google Slides because it lets me put a lot of information and really help you write the chapters. So you will see on this very first screen on the landing, you'll have uh, a written instructions of how what the things I want you to do in the draft. And then you can click on this little uh, image over here and actually watch this instructional video. So if you have, if you're clicked on this, you are watching the video right now. So I'd like to move through and help you write your very first section. So the first thing, right? So this, the first thing we need to do is we, I need you to define what freedom from attachment means. So when we're on this slide, we're going to figure, right? So I'm going to write here as I'm going to plan my paragraph in this box, and then I'm going to write it in the other box. So what does he mean by freedom? Uh, so following God without caring what your life looks like to others, i.e. Um, rich or poor, sick or healthy. Then, so I, I should also explain, is this right? What's unique about this? So freedom is not doing whatever you want and then finally uh so a good paragraph an example um saint ignatius himself wanted to be a great knight and then a heroic missionary as live as a as a bureaucrat. Okay, so I've planned my paragraph here and then when once you write it, you should put it here. Some you can if you don't struggle with spelling or grammar or anything like that, you can write just write in this orange box. These orange boxes are going to become very important for you. And so you can, if you want, you, I would just delete this text and off I'm writing. But I'm not very good at this. So I usually write over here in Grammarly. So I, okay, I cheated a little bit. I did this ahead of time. So I've got a thing here. So I'm going to just clean this up since I'm here. Uh, I love Grammarly because I never do this. Uh, serving God, comma, as you go through, be famous, I spelled writing wrong, famous or total here. All right, awesome. So that's now good. So I can copy this and then go, and then I'm going to paste my paragraph right over here. So that's me. So we've now I've written my first paragraph. See, that wasn't so hard. And now we can move on to the next thing. So I'm giving you two options here. You can either, uh, if you like story maps, you can go to slide six and use the story map way of planning your story. You're telling me a story about a time you've experienced freedom or indifference. So I want you to write a good story. I've given you, I'm giving you these two ways that I think are helpful to write a, a good story. Or if you like the story wheel, you can go to slide 13. And there are introductions to both of these on those slides. But right now we're just going to move. I'm going to go through the whole thing. So we're going to go on to slide six. So orientation, change, act, and resolution. So we're going to do this with it first with the story map. So we're going to start. 
by brainstorming here, right? So I want you to take five minutes and write down as many possible experiences of freedom as you can, right? So I'm going to do this on my paper. I like uh, I like Rhodia paper. So I'm going to write on here experiences of freedom, writing, 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 writing. And then I'm going to write also, I'm going to use negative examples, times that I thought I may have been free, but might have not actually been, right? We're practically calls those disorders. I'm writing, writing, writing my disordered attachments, times that I was disordered, things that I were, stories where I wasn't really free, then I'm going to go, okay, so now which of these is the best story? Might not be the most perfect example. It doesn't have to be anything. What's the easiest one the, and the most entertaining for me to tell? I'm still focusing on my reader. So I'm going to write that down here, right? So for me, it would probably be the time I was left for dead in Alaska. So that's the one I've, I've picked. And now I'm going to turn that experience into a story. So if you really like to get into the nitty gritty and want to see a professional do this, uh, these are three videos from uh, that explain the story writing process. You can just click on them and they will play on your on your screen and you can actually listen to somebody else explain this same process. So with, with the orientation, challenge, action, and resolution, you want to start off by coming up with these, coming up with ideas. So the orientation, where, where does my story about being left for dead in Alaska occur? Well, it's in Alaska, it's in February. Okay, so who are the characters? Me as a novice, uh, the other people there, I'm going to write, the, I write these in here. And I'm going to just leave this for you as an example. How do I describe them? I'm going to describe them. The setting, I'm going to describe the setting. Or I'm going to tell me what the setting is, and I'm going to describe it. Now, what's the challenge? If there's no challenge, there's no story. So for me, um, I'm ptarmigan hunting, and I get separated, and my snow machine breaks down. Um, then, so, uh, any interesting words I want to use? right because this should be exciting i want exciting verbs so i'm going to try to think of some exciting verbs to describe getting lost and stuck in the snow um, and then any sort of figurative language the purpose of this for me is to use this being left for dead as a metaphor for my own lack of trust in god that's the story i want to tell so then what's the action in the story then i'm going to write down what did i do so and then what did others do? So were there other people acting in my story, the story? What are my other characters doing? And again, any interesting verbs, things I want to try to keep track of. And finally, how does the story resolve? So I'm, I write my notes for how the story resolves here and here. And then I would go, now having done this, now I'm going, now I'm going to give you a chance to try it. So what's your story? What's your orientation? What's your challenge? What actions are you writing? What resolution? How, do, how does that story resolve? So take your story that you think was best from your brainstorming and break it out here. Then again, you're going to draft your story. So, and remember, this is narrative writing. So paragraphs are groups of sentences that share the same idea. So if you have a paragraph describing a, the setting, that might be its own paragraph. And then you're slumped over in the car and you interact with somebody, right? That could be a second paragraph. So you're going to write your paragraph here. Remember, I'm not very good at grammar and spelling, so I like to write my stuff in Grammarly. You can write it in Google, a Google Doc. But when you're done, you're going to copy and paste the draft of, of your story right in this orange box. Again, these are going to be, notice, notice every time you write something, it's in an orange box. Then, if that's the case, then you would go on to the third part of the third thing you need to do, which is to explain why does your story fit with what Brackley's doing? And you're going to do that on slide 20. Now, for those of you who are just moving on, this is the story wheel. This is the second option. If you want to watch a full explanation of uh, Dan Harmon, the creator of Rick and Morty, explain the story wheel to you, you can watch the video right here. But we're moving on. So. Again, this is going to look exactly the same. So if I want to use the story wheel method, I still am going to take five minutes and write down as many examples of experiencing freedom as possible. Then I'm going to write down examples of times I had a disordered attachment or times that I was not free. Because right, sometimes I, we can explain best with a negative example. 
Going to pick my best one. So again, getting Left 4 Dead in Alaska. Now, in the story wheel, we use these eight steps. So rather than the orientation, challenge, problem, action, solution, we follow this pat. We follow this eight-step pattern. So, who am I? What did I need? What I what did I go do to go find it? What was the search like? What happened when I found the thing I was looking for? What price did it take for me to keep and get that thing? How did I bring it home? And how did it change me? Right? Because whenever you have a story, something happened to you, and at the end of that story, you return basically to the same kind of of situation in a story in a in a story for a tv show or something like that at the end of the episode you want your characters basically back in the same place so that way next week you can you you can have them have some other adventure in the next episode so if we're going to use this method then i have then you would build it like this so again here's our story wheel and you notice we move so you need go search find take return and change so Number one, who am I? I'm a Jesuit novice. What do I need? Here is how, why I'm going to pick this story about being left for dead. I'm, my need is I have having trouble with trust. Um, and so that's the, the need. The go is for me is to go join the Jesuits. And then in that, they send me out to this very first experience, which was uh, living in a native village in Alaska. So then I'm searching what's happening to me is i'm going to try to figure out and deal with these, these issues of trust i have with god i finally found it i get this great adventure it's all awesome and this calamity happens to me um then what's going to happen so for me the challenge was i might die um literally i was left left all alone on a, the, the tundra which is what this is the tundra looks like this okay is it worth it is the challenge of doing this worth this fear I have? Okay, can I let go of my fear? What brought me back? Right, several hours later, somebody comes and rescues me, and then how does it change? So, if this pattern is help more helpful for you, I want you to fill this out. And so, on the next slide, you can see now you try it. So, take your best idea, and who are you? What need do you have? What makes you go? out and try to meet that need. What happens is you're searching for it. What challenges do you encounter? What happens when you find the thing you think you wanted? What what did that cost you? How are you, what are you willing to give up to, to keep that thing? What sacrifices are you willing to make? And what brought you back into your, after the end of this adventure and this time, and how were you changed? So you'll fill out those and then again draft the whole draft your story so you you write it here uh these boxes will automatically shrink as you're typing so don't worry about um any of that i can always copy and paste and blow up the text if i need if i'm having trouble reading it um so you'll put you'll put your story there and then now we have to go to the third part. How is you have to explain why your story fits with uh, what Brackley was wanting. So then here you'd explain why your experience fits with what Brackley says, either as a positive example or as a negative example. And again, same thing, draft it. And then finally, you are done. You finally reach the end of the assignment. And now, these orange boxes are really important because you have written section one. When, once this is all done and once I've made all my co your corrections and we've met and you've got this nailed down, you've written section one. So when it comes time to turn in the whole chapter, which is, section, which is like sections one, two, three, I think there's four sections in this first chapter, you can come back, copy and paste what's in those orange boxes into a Google Doc, and boom, you will have written your whole chapter. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, good luck to all of you as you're coming out here and you're you're doing this for the first time. You can always find me. Uh, you can always look at this video. It'll be broken up into sections throughout the slideshow, and I hope this is helpful.